enthusiasm. And <laughs> motivation, man. What do you mean we've got fucking motivation? Because we did the whole recording. <laughs> and yeah. I didn't say anything. Now you stopped. And now I've stopped. You stopped to say. I arrived to Michael's birthday party <laughs> because I was cleaning the wheels. <laughs> I didn't know what else to say. <laughs> so you said, is that actually why you were late, or did you just want to sound cool? <laughs> no, I was seriously bullshit my car. I just felt like I should tell people this for some reason. Why? Because I don't know. <laughs> you gain, you gain nothing from telling me. You just look like an asshole. <laughs> Why why did we not have this in the main episode? Like the whole time it was awkward silence. Because you forgot to fucking talk and then I turned the recording off and you papped up. <laughs> what the fuck? Where was this energy 25 minutes ago? I don't know. You had no energy for 25 fucking minutes and now this shit happens. I think I will be the most disliked person on your channel. They'll be like, oh, who's listening? Is it? Is it you and Sam? Oh, I'll listen to that. And then it's like, oh, it's Chris. Oh, I'll just turn it off. It's just 25 minutes of silence and awkward talk. <laughs> it's 25 minutes of silence and Chris telling us why he won't turn up to people's birthdays on time. It wasn't technically his birthday. It was like a drink. But it was supposed to be a meal, <laughs> but you wouldn't just show up for the meal. He said 7 o'clock, and I showed up at 7.03. I'm sorry, Michael. <laughs> I can't stay for dinner. I have to go and pick up Liz. <laughs> But I needed to. I have obligations. You should have told him that. And we I did on the phone when he first rung me. Fucking old Michael. <laughs> That's <laughs> like, it. Hang on. This goes back to the very first point. I genuinely he thought... decides not to tell you things. <laughs> I genuinely thought that he'd like... <laughs> Seriously, the way he described it to me, it sounded like he booked the table last minute and then like decided to phone you after booking the table. He did! Oh my god! He booked it and then told me, <laughs> which is why I had to like put show up for 30 minutes. I, no, literally, I told him, phone you and then book the table <laughs> to make sure you were coming. He, he, he made it out on the phone to me that he booked it and I got to, that's why. Do you know the best? No, this is why I showed up and like for, literally, we showed up to have drinks and I didn't even get a drink. Let alone food. I just sat there for 30 minutes and left <laughs> because he booked me a seat to something I didn't even have time to do. Do you know the best bit of the story? <laughs> what? It was the fact that like, we got to the restaurant, we went up and we were like, yeah, he, he went up, he went to the back, he was like, yes, yeah, so I've got a table booked under my name. <laughs> and the woman goes over, she checks the thing, he booked it to the one pub. <laughs> Of course he did. He booked it. <laughs> he booked it to a different pub with the same name, and she had to like crap us into a table reserved for someone else by the bar. <laughs> That's expensive. Your good taste. That is why. I was that wondering was... why I had to sit on the that... like I was sitting on the that fucking was... staircase. Yeah. Nearly. That's why the table was in front of a flight of stairs. Because <laughs> the woman had just like set us up randomly there. Because she thought that like it hadn't been bought by accident. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, oh, we, we don't want to keep, like, you could show up later, right. or we can position you awkwardly Next by the staircase. Next time you phone me up or something, because like, he clearly, like, I nice really, guy, but I, uh, I don't think he, like, it went terribly <laughs> wrong. <laughs> this this is no, why no, no. this did... is why I awkward like I just want to point out <sighs> uh, yes I did I was a little late because I was cleaning my car but okay the other reason well, why this, I was late was because the car parking was horrendous I genuinely I, I, showed up for I half genuinely an hour. thought that he had phoned you up first and then bought the table because that's what he like made he made it... out as if it was like it's all planned all done. <laughs> Do I want to come? Well, I can't go. Sorry, Michael. I'm I know it's your birthday, and you've booked me a seat on a table, okay. and you want to have a meal. Hang on. Okay. It got so bad. I even told him on the phone that if I can, I will see how uh, how my girlfriend's day's been, and I might just pull her along. And she nearly even came, just because I felt so bad. It's it's confession time. Originally, I was going to take care of booking the table and stuff, but then it was like. 
I have to go into work for overtime, and it's like, I don't have time to put the table. So it's just like, Michael, it's your birthday, could you handle booking the table, please? Uh -huh. Just like, book it for 7 o'clock, and give Chris a ring. And he did it in that order for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> like, he took me literally. <laughs> This is why I had the. I, I, I'm really sorry. If I recall the phone call, I even I didn't know what to say because then he started saying, "Oh, yeah, and then we can hear more stories." And then I'm like, "It's your birthday. Why do you want to hear about my stories? Your what? stories are fucking brilliant." <laughs> yeah, but I, it was odd. I was like, "Oh, okay. I guess I can tell you about some other stories." It was like, I'm, "Great." <laughs> I'm like, "I'm so okay." No, in actual fact, is, have you ever seen the stand-up where there's that robot? Yeah, and he goes. Like, um, like he's like, great! Like, yeah. and then he was like, it literally sounded like that on the phone. <laughs> I'm like, oh god, <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> okay, there you go. This is why I awkwardly showed up late. This is why I was here for half an hour. This is why I had to keep checking the time on my phone. This is why I had to interrupt everyone and leave because I had I just, stuff I to just, do. I, I, I like. And, and the, I should have done this stuff at this point. I'd just like to apologise to Michael at this point in the recording. Yeah, we've totally, like, just put you in the mud. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you look... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, no, I've actually been recording for You've five minutes. You've recorded this whole yeah, thing. Yeah, I've recorded for this whole... This is going on on call. Oh. <laughs> like, we've just been shitting on Michael for, like, five minutes. And you it's... should get the editor to just put the more you know bit to pop in. <laughs> <laughs> just that brief moment of awkward silence where I'm just like, oh, <laughs> that's popping. Anyway, uh, oh, okay, well, at least the internet now knows that I have a personality. <laughs> at least the internet now knows that, like, you get your bash lines when you think you're not being recorded. Yes. Well, you did always say we, we need to record things in the car. You've lost your fucking energy now that you know you've been recorded. Yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone shy. Ah, <laughs> uh, Fred. I think that's about all the comedy. What time is it? What is the time? What? Oh, What's shit. What's on your phone? I totally forgot. I've got ten minutes. Right. Right, stop recording. Uh, yeah, we're gonna leave. Ta-ra! Bye, everyone. <laughs> yeah, this is.